Mr. Rigo, talk about that race for Mitch. Mitch, um, he's, um, he's looked good all week. We kind of, uh, we thought he was going to go fast. We weren't sure how fast, but uh, great race. He had a little technical mistake in the air that cost him a little bit, but uh, tremendous swim for him, new school record. Uh, we you know, would like to have been a little bit higher place, but uh, but he's he's pleased with it. We're all pleased. We're good. Did you expect him to put a, he, he put a, really picked it up this morning about the 350 mark. Uh, did, was there a plan to do that again tonight? Yeah, we swam the same race. It just looked a little bit different. The splits were almost identical. He was a little more consistent. And uh, he tried to do the same thing, but uh, Haas had a, apparently did a really good job right in there holding him off, so it doesn't look quite the same. It was pretty much the same race. Though. Uh, I think Caleb put up four of the five fastest times of all time in the 50 today. Uh, did you expect a performance like that? Um, he's looked pretty good. He's been real consistent. Um, so yeah, we, we expect him to, you know, in that event, to, to be that consistent is pretty amazing. Yeah. I, I think he has, what, the six fastest times ever now. Right. And they've all been, they've been in the last month. He was, uh, he's done a good job training, very focused, so. Is there a certain, um, do you say, so? is there kind of a, a mentality going into these meets? Because you guys seem to swim really fast at SECs and then turn around at NCAAs and swim really fast so far. Um, and you don't see a lot of other teams doing that. They, well, they kind of go like one or the other um, sometimes. It, it, it can go a little bit either way. Yeah. Uh, our conference meet is so competitive in, in, in the SEC that it's, uh, I think it's a mistake to go without some level of preparation. So uh, the guys, have, we're, we've got a pretty experienced team. They've been there before, and, and they're used to doing it. I think a lot of it relates to what kind of training you do in the fall is how long you can hold on to things. And, and these guys did a great job in the fall, so I, I think that puts them in a dynamic where they, they can hold on to that type of thing. And it's, it's, it's kind of the plan coming in, so we're, we're pleased with the way it worked out. Matt Credits talks about uh, Caleb's wonderful feel for the water and, and how uh, when he goes through he can make adjustments uh, and maximize uh, his propulsion with that. Is that something you've worked with him on and uh, or is it God given? Well he, he's, um, first of all he's got that little knack. You know, he's, he's, he's good at getting the job done. He understands competition. He's not afraid to do what it takes. Very focused. Steve Youngwith does a tremendous job working with him. Um, and, and, and they work for some certain things. I, I think he's a stroke less per length now than what he was a year ago and going faster. I think that increases the efficiency. So it's something we're working towards. Uh, a little bit of a focus on making sure we're good in the big pool too, and I think that efficiency is going to pay off for him well when he goes long course. Does, does he do much resistance training? Uh, minimum three times a week. So he does, he does some resistance work three times a week. And we have some unique situations in Florida where we have a, a, a little different, we have both towers and a bucket situation. And he does some tubing stuff. So he, he does a variety of things that are resistance and speed oriented things. I think that, that play a big part. The number one thing though, he's just real coachable. He, 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 once you explain to him what you're doing and he understands the purpose, he's great about making adjustments. Coach, what did you see out of the relay teams tonight? Uh, our, our 200 relay w was was good. We, we just weren't quite as sharp as what we thought maybe we could be. Um, one of the problems we have is we, we, we got, everyone's got to go every time. We just we don't have a whole lot of depth, so those guys have to go every time. I think we pay a price a little bit in the medley relay from that situation. And I think, um, I think like Mark Saranic had a great evening good medley swim, but he's one of the few guys that had to go to the 200 relay before he swam the medley. I think that, uh, that impacts him a little. So our, guy, our guys have to be pretty tough about what they're doing coming in. I'm really proud of the way they handled that situation. They did a good job on it. Anything else, Seth? All right, thanks.